In this video we continue working with NetBeans and as I promised you uh, today we add a GSP to our web application. First of all we need to expand uh, these hiding methods and you can see we have do get and do post methods created for us uh, with our select creator and you can see that our do post and do get all redirect us to the process request so the main logic will be handled by process request uh, let's try to add our gsp to the application first of all in the web web inf package uh, web inf, inf folder let's create a new folder where we put all our gsp pages let's call it a view and in the view folder let's create new gsp uh, let's call it index web in view finish here is our gsp we can uh, remove these comments we can change the title And let's change the uh, the body something like welcome to the application and let's add something more interesting comment uh, please stay we will add more features and let's try to display this page when our users navigate to the uh, to the other application to the our application let's get back to the home servlet and remove these lines and we can remove this line And we need to uh, use some default methods from the HTTP servlet request. Uh, request get uh, request dispatcher, and we need to specify the path where our GSP is located. Uh, our GSP is located in the web inf view and we need to specify exactly the same uh, folder structure uh, as we have in our web pages web inf view and index index gsp and we need to forward our request to this gsp we need to forward request and response to this web uh, web in view in this GSP. That's how we added a GSP to our application. Let's try to restart our application. And here we see the messages from the GSP. And now uh, let's try to add some more GSP pages and see how can we handle um, different requests to show different pages. Now let's uh, navigate back to the view and let's add new GSP and let's call it, um, for example, main page. And instead of hello world, we can say you're on the main page. And we can use in the home servlet some logic to show different pages. We can use request. Uh, request get request to write. 
and we can do something like this. And we can say if URI equals main page, then we need to forward our request to the main page. Or otherwise we will forward our request to the index HTML. In the index GSP we can add new tag. It's a link to forward our users to the main page. If you know something about HTML, you you know what does this tag means. It's just a link uh, to navigate user to some uh, to some page where this link redirects. So uh, we need to use attributes of this tag. And let's say we wanna navigate to the main page. Uh, let's try to check how it works. Click to run and you can see the link. We can click to the main page and as you can see uh, it doesn't show me Mm, the uh, simple web app and that's why it doesn't show us our main page we can uh, handle this uh, this uh, error or this let's say bug mm, in the way uh, it usually handles we can just run our application at absolute path instead of running it at simple web app uh, you can run it uh, to run your application with absolute path, something like this. Or you can just add it, uh, sorry, wrong idea. You can just add this path to the, to the link. Let's try the run again. We can click to the link and and nothing happens because the path is oops sorry because the path is not main page but this one let let me try to show you system print line where i Close previous projects. Here you have you are on the main page, but because you can see here is our URI, but you can do better. You can change context context path to the absolute. You need to navigate to the meta inf context XML and change this path from the simple web app to the absolute path. And then uh, you can nav uh, navigate to the home servlet and remove this context path from the URLs. And you need also remove this from this link. And let's start our application and check. As you can see, now our application runs at absolute path. We click navigate to the main page and you can see we are on the main page. You are on the main page. And that's it what I wanted to show you in this video. In the next video we try to um, show some data from the Java world 
to the front end world. So we will I will show you how to display uh, data on these GSP pages from the backend.